When the war started, well-known Ukrainian director Alisa Kavalenka was heading to Donbass to finish filming her latest piece, Expedition 49. The film is about children who live on the front lines and desperately want to travel, but simply can't. The war forced Kavalenka to postpone filming, so in April she joined the armed forces of Ukraine with some help from a high-ranking acquaintance in the military. He thought I'd be filming something, and I said, actually, I didn't come here to film, I came here to fight a war. Kavalenka knew that she was getting into. She took a trip to eastern Ukraine in 2014, which resulted in the documentary Alisa in Warland. During filming, the young woman was kept prisoner for five days by pro-Russian separatists. That terrifying time made her current decision to fight a lot easier. Back then, I promised myself that if there ever was a war in Ukraine, I wouldn't look at it only through my camera. I would fight. Kvalenka recalls that while she was filming the awards-nominated documentary, she not only perfected her directing skills, but also learned how to handle weapons. She learned all the other fighting skills in the past two months. You learn a lot on the front lines. Many guys who have served for three years or more come there and you see fear in their eyes. They feel lost. Kavalenka is serving in the Kharkov region. Her five-year-old son, Theo, is in France with his father, French journalist Stéphane Sion, and Alice's mother. It was hard for Stefan, but he knows me too well. He knows that if I have made up my mind, I'd get what I want. It was difficult for my mom too. Kavalenka has decided to talk to her son about the war as sincerely as possible, trying not to sugarcoat her day-to-day -day activities. I record a small blog about the war for Theo. I tell him what's happening. I always call whenever there is an opportunity. Kvalenka says she's not thinking about cinema or making documentaries much these days. She just dreams about peace in Ukraine when her family, like millions of others, will be able to come home and feel safe. VOA News, Washington.